Hi friend, we have two types of databases in Azure, Azure SQL and Azure Cosmos DB. So in this video, with the help of the diagrams, step by step, I will break it down so that by the end of this video, you will know exactly in which kind of application you have to use Azure SQL and which kind of application you have to use Cosmos DB. Okay. And most importantly, you will know how to explain the same confidently in your interviews. Okay, so let's start. What is Azure SQL database? How is it different from regular SQL server? Very simple, no explanation needed. Here is the diagram. And if you have some development background, you know, like we have SQL server, same way in the Azure, we have this Azure SQL database. Okay, same, it's almost same okay and uh, only the difference is it is used as the platforms as a service in azure okay meaning it's only available in azure simple definition is here azure sql database is fully managed cloud-based relational database service provided by microsoft on azure it is built on the sql server engine but it is offered as a platform as a service okay and when I say pass, that means Azure SQL database is only available in the Azure cloud. So this is the theoretical information and uh, that will help you in the revision from the book, this definition. Okay. What is Azure Cosmos DB? When should you use it for your project? So see, as a developer, we all are familiar with SQL databases, right? And in Azure, the same thing we call Azure SQL database. Okay. And I already explained this in previous question. Now there is one another database you can use to store data and that is Azure Cosmos DB like this. Okay. So simple answer is Azure SQL is used to manage. Sorry, this is Azure SQL is used to manage structure, structured SQL database and Azure Cosmos DB is used to manage no SQL database or structured or unstructured, semi-structured, any kind of data. Now you will ask what is no SQL, unstructured, semi-structured data. So that I will explain in upcoming question. But, but before that, here is the definition of Azure Cosmos DB. It's a fully managed, globally distributed NoSQL database service from Microsoft Azure, which is designed for high availability and scalability. scalability. Again, like SQL is a type of RDBMS. Similarly, Cosmos DB or MongoDB are the type of NoSQL databases. In the upcoming question, I will make everything clear. Quick update before the next question. I cracked Azure interview after facing many rejections. From that experience, I created this complete Azure interview course. This course include five things. Number five, 200 interview questions, all topics step by step, even if you are an Azure beginner. Fourth, real scenario based questions just like in real interviews third you can check your interview preparation status by marking questions prepared or not prepared second is this pdf book for quick revision and first is as your top 10 mock interviews many student cracked interviews using my courses you can be the next course and book links are given in the description if you are interested great if not, no worries. Let's continue with the next question. What is NoSQL? See, we have two categories of databases. First is RDBMS and second is NoSQL. So, uh, see, you already know RDBMS. Okay, we have MySQL, Oracle, SQL Server. These are the type of relational databases where we have tabular format data. Okay. Second category is NoSQL database, which stands for not only SQL. Again, it's not, uh, it's not SQL. It's not only SQL. It is even more than SQL. Okay. It can store structured, semi-structured data, whereas SQL can store only structured data in tabular format. Okay. What are the types of NoSQL databases like Cosmos DB and MongoDB? Okay. So, Again, 
नो एस क्यू एल इज नॉट एनली एस क्यू एल इट इज इवन मोर देन एस क्यू एल इट कैन स्टोर स्ट्रक्चर्ड सेमी स्ट्रक्चर्ड एंड अनस्ट्रक्चर्ड डाटा नाउ विल से यू विल से सो वेन टू यूज वॉट वेन टू यूज आर डी एफ एम एम आर डी बी एम एस एस क्यू एल एंड वेन टू यूज नो एस क्यू एल डैट आई विल क्लियर इन अपकमिंग क्वेश्चन बिफोर डैट हेयर इज द डेफिनेशन ऑफ नो एस क्यू एल नो एस क्यू एल डेटा बेसिस आर डिजाइन टू हैंडल स्ट्रक्चर्ड सेम स्ट्रक्चर्ड एंड अनस्ट्रक्चर्ड डाटा ओके सो वट इज दिस स्ट्रक्चर्ड सेम स्ट्रक्चर अनस्ट्रक्चर डैट आई विल एक्सप्लेन इन अपकमिंग क्वेश्चन वट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन नो एस क्यू एल एंड आर डी बी एम एस और वट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन एस क्यू एल एंड नो एस क्यू एल वी ऑलरेडी नो डैट इन आर डी बी एम एस रिलेशनल डेटा बेस वी हैव टेबल्स लाइक दिस ओके हेयर एवरी रिकॉर्ड ऑफ ए सिंगल यूजर इज इंसर्टेड लाइक ए सिंगल रो इन द टेबल राइट सो वी हैव हेयर टू रिकॉर्ड्स सिमिलरली As no SQL, every record is present as a single document. So this is one record. Okay, so you can say that in no SQL, document is equivalent to one row in SQL. Okay, uh, okay. And if you want to insert more data, then you have to add more documents, separate documents like this one uh, record, two record, three rows, four rows. Okay, like this. so these documents together is called collection in no sql so it is equivalent to your table in sql okay now the question is how sql table is structured and uh, no sql can handle unstructured and semi structured see structured data means you can create a table and schema in advance so you, you have to first create the table and define the columns and then only you can insert the data inside the table right that means table schema is predefined and structured and you cannot insert unstructured data for example here you cannot insert age because there is no column age okay first you have to define the column age and the type integer then only you can so that's why this unstructured way will not accepted in tables right whereas no sql databases are designed to handle structured also and semi structured unstructured data meaning in sql if you can see here i have inserted age it is not there in the first document but in the second document it is we need not to predefine anything here okay so it will automatically accept new doc so we, i can insert a new document with some new column it's not column it's just a field like uh, surname okay i need not to define in advance predefine it so that is the way that no sql will accept the unstructured data also that is the difference between two i hope you got the main concept how no sql accept unstructured and rdbms sql accept structure so now you can ask when to use what okay uh, and that i will when do you use as your sql rdbms and when you will use as your cosmos or no sql in your project so this is the real interview question here is the diagram and you we can use sql as your sql and as your cosmos db and sql is rdbms cosmos is no sql okay see listen carefully sql database is suitable for applications with high value transactions meaning if the data is very critical and there are complex transactions and data integrity is required then use azure sql db for example Azure SQL DB is good for storing banking and finance data because their money is the data and that is very critical and transaction and should be stored in a structured way okay one bad transaction and your money is gone right so data should be stored in a proper structured manner and SQL is the best way to do it whereas Cosmos DB or no sql databases are designed and best to handle high volume transactions with high speed read and write operations 
फॉर एग्जाम्पल चैट एप्लीकेशन डेटा इज हाई इन वॉल्यूम बिकॉज बिलियंस एंड बिलियंस ऑफ मैसेजेस आर एक्सचेंजिंग बट इट इज नॉट सो मच क्रिटिकल राइट ऑल्सो फॉर चैट एप्लीकेशन यू नीड हाई स्पीड मैसेजिंग सर्विस राइट सिमिलरली अदर एग्जाम्पल्स आर लाइक सोशल मीडिया मैसेजेस और आई ओ टी एंड गेमिंग एप्लीकेशन डेटा और मैसेजेस हेयर ट्रांजेक्शन वैल्यू इज नॉट सो इम्पॉर्टेंट बट स्पीडिंग एंड द वॉल्यूम ऑफ द मैसेजेस आर वेरी हाई राइट फॉर स्टोरिंग दैट काइंड ऑफ डेटा नो एस क्यू एल और कॉस्मोस टी बी इज द बेटर ऑप्शन ओके सो डैट्स इट एंड हेयर आई हैव रिटर्न द सेम थिंग विच आई जस्ट एक्सप्लेन दिस कैन हेल्प यू इन रिविजन फ्रॉम द बुक ग्रेट जॉब माई फ्रेंड नाउ इफ यू अंडरस्टैंड दीज टू डाटाबेसेस then there is one more very important way to create a database in azure which is asked in interviews also that i have explained in my complete azure interview course using very simple definition and easy to remember visuals as always many of my students have already used my courses to crack their interviews so if you are also serious about cracking your next azure interview and do not want to miss a single question then check out this course link and the pdf book link in the description below